friends. We are back. Let me grab some water. I've missed you guys. So I went to Whole Foods and I wanted to do a little grocery haul. So this grocery haul, it was kind of like a in between like little things that I missed when I go for my bigger shopping. I pretty much do my grocery shopping like monthly, like three, four weeks. I do the bulk and then sometimes I'll go in between to grab like a few things here and there. So let's get into it. Okay, we're back. So I have some exciting stuff for you guys. <laughs> okay, so starting out, I... I get a different egg brand, but they didn't have it. So I got this one, which is my backup option. It's from Vital Farms, pasture raised. Do some research into your eggs, because let me tell you, there is a huge difference between regular eggs, pasture raised, and um, what is it freaking called? There's like another one. There's three, but this is the one that you want to get is pasture raised. Uh, I got a pack of 18 because we go through a lot of eggs in my house. Um, then I buy these frozen broccoli and I get this specific one. They're like a dollar, two dollars. It's only broccoli. That's the only ingredient in it. So I get these specific ones because anytime I bought like a broccoli head, I always end up like it either ends up rotting or I don't end up using it or when I need it, it's like not right to use. So I buy them frozen um, and I just keep them in my freezer and then when I need them, I always have them. And I like to make like little snacks with these. So that's that. Bought chicken. Um, I bought these extra wide egg noodles because I'm planning on making like a lasagna-esque um, pasta dish with it. Obviously not using lasagna noodles, but using those. Then I also get butternut squash frozen because I make butternut squash for my dog. Um, two packets of that. I'm going to try this Good Culture Cream Cheese spread with probiotic. It is super, super, super clean ingredient. It's just cream, non-fat milk, salt, live and active cultures, and that's it. So, okay, continuing. Some milk. I love this milk. I get it, obviously, from Whole Foods because this is from all from Whole Foods. Um little tip and trick when you're done with the bottle wash it bring it back to the customer service at whole foods they'll give you two dollars back this milk is 339 so technically every time i go i pretty much have one of these to give back so i'm only paying a dollar 39 for like premium supernatural super clean organic milk then i want to stop wasting money on especially because i'm unemployed on um like Starbucks coffee, getting coffee outside. So I bought these two coffees, cold brew. What is this called? Grady's cold brew and this Chobani coffee. So one's cold brew and one's coffee. Um, I like to drink iced coffee. So that's why I got them cold. I don't mind. And I don't have a coffee maker. So I thought just buy these and I can make it every morning. Then I got this coffee creamer. This coffee creamer is so good. You want to just drink it straight, but don't because that's not good for you. Um, and it has super clean ingredients, cane sugar cream, non-fat milk, and natural flavor. Super, super clean. Ingredients are so important. Be careful what you're putting in your body. And this is the Whole Foods brand, the 365. Super affordable as well. And this lasts you a really long time because you genuinely just need a little splash. And it makes your coffee chef's kiss then we got yellow mangoes they're on sale right now five for 450 if you're a prime member these mangoes are so sweet they're so good and then i get these pink lady apples i love apples i'm obsessed with apples so orange and good okay hold on then strawberries this specific strawberries even like you can smell them when you walk into the whole foods like they smell so good and then blueberries 
So I cook. My girlfriend and I cook for our dog. So he eats he eats like chicken, quinoa, and then he'll have vegetables. So he'll have like carrots, butternut squash, um, celery, uh, sweet potato, regular potato, broccoli, stuff like that. So what I do is I buy bulk vegetables. I chop them up and I freeze them like this. So here I have... This is butternut squash. I actually, I didn't buy like the frozen ones. I have like the actual butternut squash and carrots. So I just chop them up, freeze them. And when I need them, I take them out and make them. So they're already pre-cut. Um, it's really, really convenient because if you have like a free second, cut everything up because when you need to make them, you might not have a free second to make them. So yeah, so I bought two stocks. I think that's what they're called. Of celery to cut up and freeze. And... Uh, this I cannot emphasize how good this sauce is it's pricey okay it's pricey but a little goes a long way like I can make like three meals with this so I think it's worth it it's from Carbone the restaurant in New York and the ingredients is what sells me because if you look at the ingredients in most pasta sauces they're crazy they're like the whole thing why when pasta sauce is realistically majority just tomatoes garlic onion like very simplistic ingredients this this is what it has imported italian tomatoes onions olive oil sea salt garlic basil crushed red pepper flakes and oregano tell me this isn't clean ingredients like and the taste especially of this one i don't even i'm not even gonna try to say that but they also have marinara and they have one other one i think it's tomato basil all of them licking my fingers clean clean but this one is my shit you could dip anything in this mozzarella sticks you could make pasta with it you anything you damn want eat it with a spoon let's continue Oh, and then I just bought, like, beef, which, that's not that interesting. So, oh, pancake mix. This, Birch, Birch Benders, uh, original buttermilk. They're so good. Sometimes me and my girlfriend eat the whole packet, the whole damn packet. So good. So good, so easy to make, and clean ingredients. So yeah, that's my little Whole Food haul. When I do Whole Food haul, like Whole Foods haul, um, when I do a more like in-depth, bigger shopping, I'll break it down for you guys. I'll give you guys prices, everything like that. Um, because I don't spend that much money when I go to Whole Foods, actually. I've kind of one day spent three hours there and was like, all right, I'm going to find the cheapest of everything with the best ingredients. So, yeah. Thanks. All right, bye.